How was it jumping on TikTok and trying to understand that platform from scratch? Yeah. So f- from being a successful YouTuber to understand a, a totally different algorithm, fundamentally yeah. different algorithm. What it's, was that it's, like? it's interesting. Well, not even just the algorithm, just the content. Like I'm going from basically 15 minute short films to one sub one minute vertical content. It's a whole different just ballpark. Um, and so the first little while I was doing TikTok, it, it was just kind of figuring out how what what does Mr. Beast look like in this short form content. Mm-hmm. But recently we've really started to catch our stride and come up with some original concepts and figure out how to innovate over there just like we did on YouTube. Because I don't want it I didn't want it to just be shitty YouTube videos. Yeah. You know? And so like an example is um we played the rock for hundred K and rock, paper, scissors, mm-hmm. and the loser had to donate hundred K to charity. We did um we went to random people on a campus and we offered them. So I, I said, I'll give you $100 if you fly to Paris and give me a baguette. And then they said no. And then I was like, I'll give you $300 if you fly to Paris and give me a baguette. And I was expecting this person to say no. And it go up to like 10 grand. And he's like, yes. And so he flew to Paris, got a baguette and brought it back and gave it to me. And that across everything got like 450 million views. And Because it, it's just really cool just to see this random guy get on a plane, spend a day in Paris, and we cut it up real nicely and bring it back. And so we're starting to find just tons of original content over there. But it seems like an epic video to make for a one minute. Exactly. No one on short form is doing it. That's the thing. It's like, it's just so funny because like TikTok's been big for a while now, years. And then, um, you know, as, as we started to really figure out things on the YouTube channel and get it cranking where I have some free time, we, we set our sights on TikTok and we're like, okay, what, what are people not doing? How do we make it better, put in more effort, make it good? And we did the same thing we did at YouTube, just different over on TikTok. And it worked. And yeah. now we're the fastest growing or most followed TikTok account in 2022. And it's just funny that no one else did that. And you're not afraid to do epic stuff, which I, also yeah. during the brainstorming, some some of the ideas you were like, that's better as a short. That's crazy. Yeah. Can you remember one? Because I remember I said that a bunch, but I can't think of one. All I remember is that there were like epic videos. Like really, you're going to do that for a one minute video? Yeah, it's crazy. So, like, are you uh, posting similar content to a YouTube short as a TikTok? Yeah, those we just double up. It's just hard. You know what's actually pretty fascinating, and people who do social media listening to this will probably find this pretty interesting. Is picture like the content creation meta three years ago versus now, where you can make sub one minute vertical content and it go viral on TikTok, and go viral on YouTube Shorts, it go viral on Instagram Reels, it goes viral on Facebook, it goes. Reddit, you know, you swipe through vertical content now, and Twitter when you click on a video and you flip through it. Mm-hmm. So this is actually very weird. This is the first time in the history of, I guess, Western social media that one form of content could actually go super viral on every single platform. It's never been like that before. So they're going viral individual. They're not yeah, like, like I can post something or whatever. On, I can post something on TikTok that'll get 100 million views and then post it on shorts and it'll get 200 million views and then post it on Instagram and it get 50 million views. And then, you know, I haven't yet, but you know, you can then turn around and tweet it and it get yeah. tens of millions of views. And you can post it on Reddit and it get tens of millions of views and, and Facebook and get tens of millions of views. And that, <laughs> that just wasn't a thing. Three years ago, Twitter didn't have when, when, cause a lot of you probably don't even know this, but when you tap on a video now and you swipe down, it just turns into TikTok. That wasn't a thing even a year ago. Reddit, that wasn't a thing a year ago. Probably two years ago, that wasn't a thing on Instagram. Three years ago, that wasn't a thing on YouTube, right? With YouTube Shorts. So this is all new. And uh, I don't, it's weird. I haven't heard a single person talk about it. But this is the first time where content can actually go viral on every single platform. And you don't have to write or film a video for Facebook, film a 12-minute video for YouTube, film a sub 60-second video for TikTok, write a tweet for Twitter and post this on Reddit. You can just do the same thing on every platform. And the fact that your content has gone viral on multiple platforms regularly means that virality is not accidental. Or s- sometimes it can be, of course, but it's it's just not. It can be engineered. It's, yeah, so many people say it's luck and they're like, you're just lucky or this or that, but what what are we up to? Probably like a thousand videos over 10 million views. Like we don't ever have a dud. Like you can call it luck, but I think it can be trained. I I, I counsel YouTubers all the time and, and show them how to go from getting a couple million views a month to 10 million views a month very easily. And if I, even certain ones, like just one of my friends, like he was just really struggling. And so I just started showing him basically everything I know and just doing like once every week, sometimes once every two weeks calls. And he went from $10,000 a month on YouTube to over 400000 oh. just doing these little counseling calls. And so, I mean, people can make excuses all they want and say it's just luck or say, you know, um, well, anyways, I don't even want to quote all the other stuff, but it's just, it is. It is a teachable skill. It's a learnable skill. You can 
study your way to consistently make viral videos, no matter how small your channel is. Even if you have zero subscribers, you could if if you actually studied hard enough. And like, basically, if you knew what I knew and some of these, so I don't sound so arrogant. Also, like some of these other friends I have that I'd say are the smartest people in the world when it comes to content creation online. If you had the knowledge that was in our heads, you could do it very easily. I, I see people do it all the time. Um, and what's even more interesting is I go on podcasts and I say everything I know. And these people are also very open. Some of them I know. It's all out there. And a lot of people, instead of just studying that and trying to absorb and apply it in their own way, they're just like, no, it's just luck. you know. So you do lay it all out there, but I got to push back to one interesting thing. I, I think a crucial component of your success is the idea stage the idea generation, the yeah. brainstorm I heard today, but getting really good at generating ideas. So it's not it's not just the uh, the selection of the thumbnail and the title, that creative process. It's also just the 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 engine of generating really good ideas. Of course. And getting yeah. that. I mean I I would say that is probably the thing they need to be trained the most for most creators, right? That they're they just don't put enough ideas on paper. Yes, but also a lot of creators also just don't you know, which I didn't either for the longest time, just didn't, don't make good enough content, you know, content that's worthy of getting 10 million views. In the idea or the execution of the idea? Both. I mean, like, think about how many people just make videos, they film them in under 20 minutes and they don't really put any effort into it. And like, you know, it's like my first 500 videos didn't deserve to get a million views. Like there's a reason they didn't, they were terrible, you know what I mean? But at the time I thought they did, right? And I'm, I'm in the mindset of a lot of small YouTubers where I thought those videos deserved a million views and I thought the algorithm hated me. But I watch them back now and I can tell you exactly why. The videos are just fucking horrible. You know what I mean? Well, so what was the breakthrough for you to start realizing, to start having a self-awareness, you know, about these videos aren't good enough? You're probably still going through that. You're probably still growing to see. Like, Yeah. Every six months, you should look back and hate your videos or, or at least see things you could improve and be like, oh, I could have done this better, that better. If not, then you're not learning quick enough. In my opinion, at least. Where's the source of that learning even for you now? It's uh, just looking at I mean, the I just metrics. got back from a, ma no, I mean, I just got back from a mastermind where I just got like, you know, 10 of the smartest people I knew and we just locked ourselves in a cabin and taught each other stuff. Um, constantly every day, not every day now, probably every other day I go on a walk and I just call random people. I'll just say, yeah. teach me something. And uh, I mean, it's just, uh, you just have to have a never ending thirst for learning. Like that's very imperative, especially if you want, like if you want to get on top and then stay on top. The only way to do it is just to constantly be learning. Or someone who is learning is just gonna, you know, have a leg up on you in the knowledge game. And what kind of stuff are you? Because you you've talked about offline that you just love learning of all kinds. It doesn't matter. But yeah. in terms of videos, are you studying videos? Are you studying? Recently, not as much. I'm more because to, to get to the videos I want, I have to build this business and scale up and hire. Right. So more of my recent time has been, like my teenage years were spent studying virality and studying content creation. Now I'm studying how to build a content company so I can actually produce the crazy ideas I want to produce, if that makes any sense. 